Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a buying guide for a brand that I discovered at Exxon's. I'm actually working with them today on this video. So thank you so much to Scentology for partnering with me on today's video. I'm going to be doing a buying guide of some of their most popular scents and telling you what I think about them. So like I said, this is a brand that I initially discovered in Milan at Exxon's. It really stood out to me because it's very hard to find a brand or a house that you are just wowed by every aspect. Not only is is the team amazing but the mission that they stand for the packaging and most importantly the scents are just so fantastic that they really stuck in my mind it's a newer company that was started in 2021 and it's built on the idea that perfumery is a unique intersection between science and art where the laboratory meets the canvas which is us they like to use their perfumes to create a language of scent and i was just so captivated by the brand it really stuck out in my memory and i am very excited to be sitting down today and doing a little buying guide sharing their popular fragrances with you so i guess we'll start with doing like an unboxing i wanted to show you guys the packaging because this is really a place where scentology really shines is in their packaging so everything is very like luxe so it just comes with this outer sleeve and then on the inside of the box it's a very sturdy box material you open it up and on the inside it has i really like it's kind of like the insert of a book where the fragrance sits and then the perfume is in this little drawstring bag it's really cool but it's also a lot of really good like protective packaging when you're shipping things and this is what the bottle looks like i'm sure you guys have seen it before on instagram it seemed to be like the brand of Exxon's, you know, everyone was testing and doing videos with Scentology. So I've been seeing a lot of other content creators making videos with them. And that's very exciting because it is a brand that definitely deserves the recognition. So we'll start with Synergy, which is probably the most popular scent, or at least the most talked about from what I've seen. This fragrance is said to represent the power of tropical harmony. I love the cap. Whenever there's like a nice weight to the cap, <laughs> like you know when you put it down, and it makes that noise, you know it's really good. Nice heavy cap, I really appreciate it. And I love this quote from their website on the caption of Synergy, it says, your presence will forever be present in the moments of your absence. And I don't know, that for me was a little thought provoking. So we'll spray it here. The, also, oh, that's another thing all in itself that I forgot when I said I was wowed by every factor. <laughs> the atomizer on this thing is unlike anything else I've ever seen this room is gonna smell just amazing after this video. The quality of this atomizer is just top tier. Check this out. That noise. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this room is going to smell like this for like a week because this stuff is strong. So the notes in here, it has a lot of fruity notes in this. This is definitely their fruitiest fragrance, Synergy. It has some apple with some orange, some pear, some pineapple, peach, and mango. Very popular fragrance note going around right now with a mid of rose and jasmine with some almond and saffron. And that's another thing that I really appreciate about this fragrance is that balance between the fruitiness, the spice, and the nuttiness. I really love the almond note in this and then in the base we have some amber musk moss and cedarwood it is really just the most perfect blend most of the time when you have fragrances that are just over the top fruity there's not much interest or depth to them but with the saffron and almond note in this which almost gives it a very slight cherry feel almond has a, a way of doing that sometimes it really just adds a lot of dimension to this it just makes it very it adds like a warm element to it so tropical perfect for the summer i think that i would prefer to wear this maybe on a summer night. I think when the sun goes down, this is the perfect time to wear a fragrance like this. It's just delicious. The fruits in this are just so realistic and the oils in this are obviously very high quality. Like it smells like a quality product. I understand why everyone is hyping it up because it is just, it is fantastic for a fruity scent. So if you like fruity floral fragrances, but you want something that has, that's not typical in a fruity floral, you want something that is a little bit different, that has a little more dimension and some spice in there, this is definitely one to try. On the back of the bottle here, it says a harmonious combination of your senses, a blend that creates your passion. And it even gives you, a, <laughs> it gives you a suggested usage on the back. It says two splashes. So that means that I did that like, could someone please go back and count how many times I just sprayed this bottle in this bedroom oh my gosh like i said it's gonna smell good in here for a week so that is synergy probably the most anticipated scent for me and just oh 
It's so good. Definitely met every expectation. So now we'll move on to Overdose, which is a very sweet citrusy scent with a lot of dimension as it dries. I'm not going to overspray this one. <laughs> so on the note listing, this is actually one with cannabis. Now I went and tested these for the last week before I am filming this video and I didn't really pick up cannabis i got some earthy notes like there's definitely something earthy in here this is one that just transforms as it dries and it is described as a dose of curiosity that makes it impossible to resist so the notes in here in the top we have that bergamot grapefruit and that cannabis note in the mid we have some gardenia some geranium and some thyme and a base of vetiver patchouli musk and amber like i said there's a very earthy aspect to this but in the opening it is very citrusy and almost like this creamy, I don't want to say dreamsicle. Like I feel like I use that to describe so many different fragrances, but there's definitely like a gourmand facet to this in the top and it is fleeting. It does dry down and as it dries, it becomes more earthy and more just settled. Like as it dries, it kind of loses this gourmand facet, but it is a very bright and fresh fragrance. And I know on the skin when I tested it, it's even creamier on the skin. It just really comes alive on the skin. That's the thing with fragrances. You really need to sample it and try it on your skin because this one just blooms and the more gourmand facets came out on my skin more than it's doing right now on the strip. It's very, very sexy too. There's something very inviting about this one and it's 100% unisex along with the last one. Um, the last one is a little fruity synergy. If so, it, you have to be a man that loves to wear fruity fragrances if you want to try that. But if you are open to trying fruity fragrances, um, which I know a lot of my viewers are, it's a very good one. But this one is it's also right there on the unisex line maybe just slightly masculine because of these earthy elements ah, the, if they the cannabis in this is just done in a way that is perfection because i generally you guys know there's very very few cannabis fragrances out there that i really like i mean this is like one of two <laughs> in the whole world it's just done so well in this that it's not like a dank cannabis it's a very green, earthy, herbaceous kind of cannabis. It's like way back in the background in this. So don't be scared away by that, the fact that it has cannabis in it. It's definitely, even if you usually don't like that kind of scent profile, I think you'll like this if you like very earthy, fresh, slightly, slightly gourmand freshies. It's interesting too, because on a man's skin, I had a man test this fragrance. On his skin, the more earthy elements came through and on my skin, more of the gourmand elements really shined. So I really feel like with this house that all of the fragrances are going to kind of adjust to your pH level. It's all going to kind of mesh with your chemistry and create different nuances in how the notes really present themselves. So like I said, it's really worth trying on your skin. I just, I love it. I love this very slight gourmand on facet to it mixed with earthiness it's really unlike anything that i've ever smelled i've never tried a combination like this before and i really commend scentology for pulling this one off because it's gorgeous so that one was overdose so now we're going to move on to trace this one is more of a rose oud scentologist take on a rose oud fragrance and it is said to be a mix of essence and heritage and i love that about it as well it's like so much of this house and this perfumery is really like left up to your imagination. They really make a lot of room for the user's own interpretation. I think it's very cool. This one is very aromatic, very woody. In the top, we have some bergamot, a little spice with some coriander with Bulgarian rose in the mid. There's some orris, really beautiful combination with some oud. In the base here, we have Alaskan cedar and cade. So this one is a little more simple, but it's just the different notes in this that blend together. It makes it so dimensional and so good. Definitely a unique take on a rose oud with the orris and the coriander. It's not typical at all and it is just good. I feel like the, there's like a little tiny bit. I think the coriander in here really makes it. It's beautiful for a woman but I think it would make it slightly better for a man. Just slightly. I think most of all of these are basically 100% unisex. Right there in the middle don't really lean feminine or masculine. This one I think is it's like here's the unisex line masculine. Like just slightly a little masculine from the coriander and rose oud combinations on men are just so stunning anyway like the most elevated luxurious beautiful combination a man could wear is a rose oud it's just so stunningly sexy but there is also kind of like a clean linen vibe in this as well right in the opening when you blast this it comes off more as like a clean linen very luxurious like five-star hotel kind of vibe but as it dries down it turns more into that rose oud it really transforms it 
just get so dimensional as it dries down. It's very like cozy and soft as well. There's a little bit of sweetness here as well. I feel like this would be the perfect perfume for intimate occasions. It smells like a romantic weekend getaway. There's also like this very subtle touch of something that smells a little tiny bit like bamboo. I think it all kind of ties together with this clean linen as it turns into the rose oud smell. The oud is here, but it is very light. It's more of a floral fragrance, I think, than I would say woody. But as it dries down, as it continues to dry down, and especially on the skin, the woodiness really comes through. Like throughout the next couple of hours, it'll turn more into a woodier scent. But in the opening, there's just a lot of florals. It's so, so beautiful. This one is just elegant, like in a suit, super rich. This one it was one of my favorites, Trace. So now we'll go to Absolute here. This one has a bit of an oriental charm to it and it's very aromatic as well. I just, I cannot get over the atomizers. I just want to sit here and spray them all day. Oh, this one is a very, very sensual vanilla blending with some white flowers here. And I think that out of the five that I have here, this one is the second most masculine. I have not talked about the first most masculine, which is going to be the last one. There's a lot of inbrox in here. It's like a very, very refined, high quality, mass appealing scent. If you are someone that likes to play it safe with fragrances, but you don't want to smell like everyone else on the planet, you don't want all the typical designers that you find in every store that you go to, this is one that you will absolutely love because it has a very, very mass appealing heart to this, but it's a little different. The vanilla in this just adds something very sexy. It's very, very classy smelling as well. I think you could wear it as like a everyday scent if you wanted to, but even for the office, this would be really good. I feel like it could maybe go a little spicy on the skin. You just have to test it out. The notes in here, there's sage, there's some hay, some cypriol and laurel. In the mid, we have some vanilla, guayac wood, garjum and white flowers with a base of amber, tonka, tobacco and musk. Definitely a little bit of tobacco in here, but I think it's more green tobacco. It's not very smoky. It is addictive. It's very warm and inviting. And if you want something that's a little more mass appealing, this is definitely the one to go with. Absolute. So that leaves me with the last fragrance that I have, which is Forest Blends. See the color of the juice in this one tells you that it's going to be an amazing fragrance. You cannot go wrong with this color of juice. And this one is a labdanum overdose. It said to capture the heart of the wilderness, smokiness of cashmere wood and a leathery base. It's said to connect you back to what once was your original. So the notes in this, we have some bergamot, grapefruit and saffron. We have cashmere woods, cedar atlas and rose and in the base, leather, vetiver and cypriol. It's a very ashy fragrance, not really smoky. I wouldn't say it's smoky but it's ashy mixed with this greenness. It's, it's kind of like you picture this, you're out camping and you have a bonfire and then it goes out overnight and you wake up in the morning and there's still some ashes in the campfire. That is what this kind of smells like mixed with that dewy surroundings in the trees. It really brings you back to nature. It almost even gives off a very, very slight like petrol feeling. I feel like people that really enjoy Dior's Fahrenheit will really like this as well. Even something like City on Fire by Imaginary Authors. If you like those types of fragrances, you will absolutely love Forest Blends. Definitely the most masculine out of all of them. It's very sexy, very, very manly. And if you like fragrances that smell like the earth, you will definitely enjoy Forest Blends. This one I think is definitely my favorite for a man. There's just something extra instinctual about this one. I don't know. There's something about, like it brings out the hunter in a man. It just makes me want to run for my life, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> very, very sexy. So that is my buying guide for Scentology. I got to try five of their amazing fragrances. And if you guys are interested, I have a discount code with them as well. Pricing is pretty good. I think it's around $200 for 100 ml. So for amazing quality niche fragrance house for only $200 for 100 ml, that's pretty good price, but I have a 10% off code for you guys as well. It's Erica 10 that you can use on their site to get 10% off. So, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below what you think. Have you ever tried Scentology? Are you interested in trying them? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.